What is going on, guys? Welcome to the N1 Fitness Podcast. I'm your host, Marcus Sidhu, and today we're going to be chatting about how to achieve better results and have more success in anything that you choose to take on. And I'm not talking about solely financial success, however, that applies as well, but rather a formula in a sense to get the results that you're after. So this is going to apply to your fat loss goals just as much as it's going to apply to your career or relationship goals, meaning you can use this strategy in anything that you choose to take on. Now, if you take a step back and look at any area of your life where you've had success, you've done certain and specific things. So everyone inherently knows the information that I'm about to talk about, but I want to put it into really straightforward and actionable terms so you can use it more effectively to your advantage when you're taking on something new or looking to improve something that you're currently working at. Now, step one is consistency. Kind of boring, right? But you have to have it. You have to show up and show up often. You could be the best lawyer, the best accountant, teacher, real estate agent, nutritionist, nurse, it doesn't matter. If you don't show up to work, it makes no difference how good you are. You got to be there. When it comes to fat loss specifically, showing up looks like following a healthful nutrition plan, moving lots, prioritizing sleep, and managing stressors on a consistent basis. Now, step two is to determine whether what you're doing is working. So, In the instance of fat loss, tracking progress in one way or another is really important because it's impossible to know whether what you're doing is working if you're not tracking anything. Now, if what you're doing is working, keep going. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? However, if what you're doing isn't working or moving you closer to your result that you want, you need to implement changes that you then follow consistently and then assess whether it's working, say, seven to 10 days later. If the changes that you made had the desired effect, you're golden. Keep moving in the right direction. On the other hand, if not, you need to make changes again until you start seeing progress. Now, what you'll notice is that consistency is the backbone, right? Because if you're not consistent, you can't trust the information that's informing you whether you're making progress or not. So for example, Let's say your goal is fat loss and you're going to start counting calories, tracking your steps as well as your sleep. If you track for five days and then just completely take the weekend off and do whatever, and then you don't make progress that week, you actually don't know if your approach is effective because you don't even know if you followed the approach or not. Similarly, if your doctor prescribed you a medication and he or she said, take this every morning with food and you took it four days with food, one day without, and then just forgot the other two days, you can't know whether that medication or that protocol was going to get you the result that you were after because you didn't follow it. So the point that I'm really aiming at driving home here is is that the consistency piece just has to be there first and foremost to be successful. Now, a quick little aside here, some folks will say that you don't learn from your successes, only from your failures, and I honestly couldn't disagree more. You can learn just as much from the great results that you get in your life as you do from the not so great results because it's just the other side of the coin. So if you implement something and you have a lot of success with it, you learned, right? You learned what worked. Just like if you implemented something and you didn't have success with it, you learned that that implementation strategy did not work. So I've never understood the logic of folks who talk about you only grow or learn from failure. That just doesn't make much sense to me. I mean, in a sense, I understand what they're saying and what their point is because by all means, I've made a lot of mistakes, but you can still yield a ton of helpful information from things that have worked in your life. Now, fortunately, you don't need to reinvent the wheel here around achieving success. Again, look at any area where you thrived in the past, whether it be sports, business, a relationship, family, school, fitness, the consistency piece or the consistency component was there. And so was the test and retest method because it is the only way to learn, grow, and get better. Now, we even do this in communication with one another. We learn how to communicate more effectively with people by taking an approach, 
seeing how that individual responds and adjusting accordingly. So for example, let's say you were talking with a friend and they had a problem and first you took the harsh, give it to them straight, tough love approach and they totally got their back up against the wall and shut down emotionally. You took that information in and hopefully you adjusted for the next time because you saw that that communication style didn't work all that well. So the next time you were chatting with this person, you took a softer approach, you weren't so harsh, and you noticed that they responded really well and it was a much more productive conversation. You showed up, you took the information from your last chat, realized it didn't work, and then implemented something different. This is the test and retest method to a T. We carry out this process essentially all day, every day, right? Dating is a super clear example. We find out what we like and what we don't like and continually test and retest until we find the right fit for us. I'm sure you're seeing that if you commit to showing up, it's only a matter of time until you get the result that you want. And I'll use myself as an example. As you may know, I used to be 50 pounds heavier than I am right now. I had all sorts of skin and digestive issues, low energy, poor sleep, you name it. And then I committed to getting in shape and holy shit, did I make a lot of mistakes. I did just about every diet under the sun and I absolutely figured out what didn't work. But the only reason I eventually had success was because I showed up, I implemented, I tested, I implemented again, retested and so on. It actually took me years to figure this stuff out But it wasn't a matter of if for me, it was a matter of when, because I simply wasn't going to stop until I got the result that I was after. So whether you're making a career change, you're exploring new relationships, you want to be in the best shape of your life, or you're working at improving your communication with your partner, your kids, your family, show up, experiment, see what works versus what doesn't, show up again, and round we go. I've talked a little bit about this on the pod before because it's one of my favorite topics. Pattern recognition, in my opinion, is the most important life skill you can cultivate hands down. The faster you can recognize patterns and connect dots in your life, the faster you're going to improve and grow as a human. Now why? It's essentially an expedited process of the test and retest method. Let's take the example of chatting with your friend. You originally took the harsher, tough love approach and it didn't work. If you just continued to take that approach over and over because you can't see the pattern that's formed in that, that person just didn't respond well to that tactic, right? Your communication and your relationship between one another is going to suffer. But on the other hand, if you recognize the pattern quickly, you adjust your approach and then implement a new strategy, you save yourself a ton of time relationship stress, lack of connection, and the list goes on. It is benefits across the board. Albert Einstein said the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Pattern recognition, which is essentially just another term for the test and retest method, is key to expedited success and results. I do this with my clients all day, every day. I notice patterns in their lifestyles and support them to avoid making the same mistakes over and over. This drastically improves their results, but you can also do this for yourself. It's tougher just because you're a fish swimming in water and it's a lot harder to view you and your own life with an objective eye than it is for someone else. And this is why my job exists, this is why therapist jobs exist, this is why plenty of jobs exist, but you can improve this pattern recognition skill for yourself And I would highly recommend it because as I'm sure you can see, it is super useful. So the take home points, show up, test, adjust if need be, retest, rinse and repeat. Also, keep the pattern recognition stuff in mind. Start to take notice of patterns in your behavior. Maybe you start implementing more steps in your day. You know I like folks to hit 10,000 steps per day and possibly you start to feel drastically less stressed. Maybe walking is an awesome stress reduction tool for you, as well as you know burning calories, getting light exposure, and all of that good stuff. Or maybe you start to notice that every time you eat funky foods, your digestion takes a hit. Or perhaps you notice you don't sleep as well on Friday and Saturday nights typically, and funny enough, 
Those are the only two nights of the week that you drink alcohol. Coincidence, right? This is pattern recognition. Have fun with this stuff and view it almost like a scientist. Personally, I think it's endlessly interesting because humans are just fascinating creatures with all sorts of biases, intricacies, likes, dislikes, preferences. So no need to take this stuff too seriously and judge yourself. Just look at it as feedback that can support you to learn and grow as an individual. Now, if you're interested in applying for one-on-one nutritional coaching and or workout design with me, you can click the link in the description below or head on over to n1fitness.com forward slash coaching. Follow me up on Instagram at n1fitness. Follow me on Facebook at Marcus Sidhu. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will catch you on the next episode. See ya. See ya.